What's up everyone, Technic here. So, in the previous video I showed you how to install H Encore 2 onto your PS Vita. And this is the following video after that. So I'm going to go ahead and install H Encore now. If it's successful anyway. <laughs> so afterwards go ahead and choose install Hinkaku. And then we're going to go to exit. I forgot you can't no menu out of this. So in today's video, I will be teaching you how to downgrade your video. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you how to downgrade your PS Vita to 3.65 and to 3.60. It's both entirely the same method, but the method afterwards where you want to install custom firmware on your PS Vita are kind of different. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Alright, so now that we're back on our PS Vita, um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the application that we downloaded in the last video. So this is called Vita Show. What is Vita Show, you ask? Um, so it's Content Manager, but it lets you do every single thing that you wanted to do on Content Manager. So it is a file. It's a file explorer, but better. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Vita Show, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about it because some of this information will be very beneficial to you. So, um, P or v Vita Show is now open and everything, so this will put you into the main hub database of your PS Vita, so these are all the files and everything, but the two uh, file directories that you're going to want to know for sure is URO or UR0 and UX0. UR0 is the PS Vita system memory, and UX0 is the PS Vita's memory card memory. So I want you to remember that this is very important. <laughs> now, we're gonna go into the UR0, and I keep forgetting that circle is the enter button on this one. So when we go into the UR0, you're gonna see a lot of folders and everything, but I want you to take notice of this folder called the tie folder. We're gonna go into it, and you're gonna see config.txt, Kaku, and all this other stuff, and I'm going to tell you right now, this is probably one of the most important folders in your PS Vita because this folder has the purpose of making every single hacked application and everything and every plugin work on your PS Vita. So now we're going to go back and go into the UX0. So as soon as we go into the UX0, you're going to see another type folder. Now, that type folder is not supposed to be in there. That type folder was created for the purpose of your PS Vita being hacked and everything and initially getting attacked. So we're going to go ahead and go to the UX0, press triangle, and we're going to delete that type folder. And <laughs> a lot of people right now are like, why did you do that? So um, again, yes, it's a very important folder and everything, but you should only have one type folder on your PS Vita, and that type folder should always be in your UR0. And I'm going to say this for any of the veteran hackers and all that other stuff. It's it needs to be in the it needs to be in the UR0 because the UR0 will re actually retain everything. If it's stuck in the UX0 and you have two type folders in your uh, UR0 and UX0, and like I said, this the purpose of this folder is to enable every single plugin and everything. If you have both of those type folders in both of those directories, they're both going to conflict with each other, and some of your pl plugins, if not all of your plugins, won't work correctly. So this is why I am telling you, it'll save in the long run and everything, and you're actually going to see it pop up again and again and again every time we activate H Encore 2 and everything, because like I said, H Encore 2 actually creates that type folder over and over, and over again. But for this purpose, um, we're going to be deleting that type folder every single time, just to make sure that this uh, plugin runs smoothly. So again, that type folder is deleting everything. So. Now that we are in Vita Shell, um, we're going to go ahead and go back, press the select button to put it in the USB mode, and we're going to connect to our computer. Okay, so now we're on our favorite website, VitaHacks.guide. So um, I will say this, a quick disclaimer. Um, I know downgrading your PS Vita sounds like it's a kind of difficult task, but not really. Um, as long as you kind of follow step by step uh, what to do and everything and do it right, you shouldn't have any problem with it. So again, your PS Vita has to be on 
uh, some kind of temporary custom firmware to do this. Um, and if you're on 3.65 already and you want to downgrade to 3.60, this worked for you too. So um, go ahead and go to get started. And go to install an H on core. Scroll all the way down and then go ahead and go to downgrade into 3.60. And again, I'm going to leave all the links that I use in the description of this video. So you guys can kind of follow along and everything too, just in case you need like a written guide to go through it. But I will be doing this all in video so you can kind of see for yourself too. So um, there's two uh, what, there's two, uh, two firmers that, that I'm going to recommend downgrading because all the rest of them um, are kind of pointless because you want your PS Vita to be on both uh, either of these firmers so you can actually do everything that you want to do on your PS Vita because um, if you're on kind of a higher uh, custom firmware, um, I know you can't use like, what's it called, uh, Adrenaline, which is like a PSP uh, emulator. So um, if you want to downgrade your firmware to 3.60, um, you're gonna be going through this method. If you wanna downgrade it through 3.65, it is the exact same method, but you're going to have to grab this PSP uh, to update.pup file from this link. So. I'll be leaving the 3.65 and the 3.60 links in the description of the video. Um, but again, for this video, we're going to be using 3.60. So you're going to go ahead and click on this. And if it doesn't download, which I remember the link not working um, last time, go ahead and go to the mirror. So after you go to the mirror, it's going to go ahead and download the uh, update file for you. It's going to say uh, number one because I've actually already downloaded it. But afterwards, you're going to also update the latest re release of uh, Modoro, and Modoro is the downgrading uh, application. So again, if you're whether you're doing 3.60 um, or 3.65, make sure you're downloading. Um, make sure you're downloading all of the files for your corresponding uh, PS Vita. But Modoro is going to actually be the same for both of them. But the important thing to remember is. If you're downgrading it to 3.65 or 3.60, you need that specific PSP2 update file. So again, we're doing 3.60. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Maduro and I'm gonna go ahead and download it. It's gonna take us to the GitHub page and click on this to download it. Maduro is a quick download. So now we're gonna go ahead and go into our folder. Um, as, as soon as it's done downloading, you can go ahead and drag and drop it to your um, desktop, but I kind of have mine already categorized in the file. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our files right now. So I have 3.60 firmware right here and I didn't get a chance to download Maduro. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that in my folder too. Again, I'm creating my own database, so you guys are gonna see this folder grow. <laughs> okay, y'all can call me a total nerd for this, it's okay. <laughs> so now that we have the 3.60 firmware and the Maduro VPK, and we have everything we need, everything is downloaded and everything. We're gonna go ahead and go straight back to our PS Vita. All right, so once you've pressed the select button and plugged in your PS Vita into your uh, PC and everything, most people are gonna notice that you only have three folders in here. So, um, and if, if not, then you've already, if you see way more folders than this, you've already um, clicked on the option, but go ahead and go up to view and check mark hidden items and then all of a sudden you're gonna see every single folder just pop up so this is actually every single folder inside of your ux0 so you're gonna see no type folder in here because i deleted that but um you're gonna want to check that view hidden items this is actually very important for all the future things that you want to do in your ps beta so as soon as you do this um we're gonna go ahead and find our psp2 update.pup file we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop it onto our ux0 which is our ps beta
and afterwards we're going to find the Modoro VPK and also do the same thing. Drag and drop it on the PS Vita. After that's done, go ahead and close out and we're going to go right back onto our PS Vita. So now that both of those files are connected, or <laughs> connected, now both of those files are transferred, go ahead and go to cancel, go into your UX0, scroll all the way down, and you're going to see the two files, modoro.vpk and psp 2 updatepup So we're going to go ahead and go to Modoro. Do you want to install this application? Press the enter button, sorry, and click yes. And then it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to install it? And say yes. It's going to get stuck at the end, but it is going to install. And then go ahead and go to go back to Maduro. Press triangle and then go to delete. You don't need it anymore. Are you sure you want to delete this file? Yes. And then we're going to go over to psp 2 updatepup We're going to go ahead and go to copy. Then we're going to scroll up. Go into app, the app folder. Go to the Modoro 000 folder. And then we're going to go and press the triangle button and press the paste button. It's going to take a little while to do this. So now that it's copied on there, go ahead and press back and back again. Go down to the psp 2 updatepup press triangle, and then go to delete. Are you sure you want to delete this file? Yes. Then press the start button, and go down to reboot. And your PSV is going to reboot. So now that our PSV has been uh, restarted, we're going to go ahead and go back into the HON core folder her H on core application. Press start, go to yes, and hopefully it's successful the first time like it's been. <laughs> yep. So now we're going to scroll down to install in Kaku. And then go to exit. Now we're gonna go back into Vita Show because I guarantee you that type order has been created again. I already know it has. So we're gonna go to the UX0. Oh, surprisingly it has it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, but we're still going to verify that the type order is in the UR0. So now that we're done with that, we're going to go to the Modoro application and press start. Oh yeah, I forgot. I activated Vita Show. <laughs> so I'm going to have to reboot again. Hold on. Yeah, it's about to exit automatically. I also keep forgetting that this isn't this isn't Trinity because of her. Like I said, I'm I'm so used to doing it that way because the tie folder like just keeps popping up every single time. So I'm glad that it's actually been improved. Like this this is like crazy. <laughs> we'll install in Kaku and then exit. And then we're gonna go into Medora. And it should work now. <laughs> okay, so this is where you have to take heed of the current firmware and factory firmware. So I want to downgrade my PS Vita to 3.60. So um, if your factory firmware is anything higher than that, then you can't downgrade it to 3.60. Just like if, let's say your factory firmware was 3.63, you would have to go with the downgrading it to 3.65 better. So that, that would be just downloading the uh, 3.65 uh, PD. A PUP and everything. So um, at this point in time, um, it says, do you want to downgrade your firmware from 3.70 to 3.60? Press X to confirm or R to exit. So 
this is the point of no return. <laughs> I mean, the funny part is this is the point of return, so I'm gonna go ahead and press the X button. So this software will make permanent permanent modifications to your Vita. If anything goes wrong, there's no recovery, not even with a hardware flasher. This is the part that scares everybody, by the way. <laughs> Um, don't be afraid and everything. Um, like I said, doing this is kind of a do at your own risk thing, but this the success rate on this is so high that I am not even worried about it to be honest. So press X to accept these terms and start the installation or R to not accept an exit. I'm gonna press the X button. So again, this is what kind of takes a little bit of time, but not really. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part. I'm actually laughing because it says system update. <laughs> Installing the system software, do not power off the system during the installation. After the installation is complete, the system will restart automatically to complete the update. The quote unquote update. This is what this uh, Maduro program actually does is it puts your um, PS Vita into kind of a fail safe safe recovery mode and it kind of tricks it into thinking that it's on its own actual like factory firmware and then it updates it to whatever firmware was in the uh that was put in the app folder which would be the p uh, p2p um update file that you downloaded so it's either going to be 3.65 or 3.60 with which whatever your um ps vita can handle there are a f i'm going to say there are a few ps vitas that actually have the firmware the factory firmware like higher than 3.60 but there's, there's not many of them. It was only like the most recent limited edition ones that were released. Um, so don't really be too uh, afraid on that one. So do you want to transfer the data on internal memory card to the removal memory card? Yes. It's going to take a little bit of time. <laughs> And then your PS Vita is going to kind of reboot. <laughs> you must update the system software. Shh, nope. <laughs> However, you can, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's going to update the database. So I'm going to have to format my memory card. <laughs> Go ahead and, yeah, Sony's like, man, update your system. What are you doing? I'm going to put it in flight mode real quick. <laughs> So now we're going to go into system settings and then go into the application. So we're going to go into system and system information. So as you can see, this PS Vita is now on 3.60. Now, if you downgraded your PS Vita to 3.65, um, your, your method of installing custom firmware back on it is going to be the same exact thing as when I did it when my PS Vita was on 3.70. So you're just going to be doing um, the H and Encore method in the last video, which I will link in the description as well. So at this point in time, your PS Vita is downgraded and I will see you into the next video of when it comes to installing uh, custom firmware on a 3.60 PS Vita because it's actually different, but it's actually very, very easy compared to all the other methods. So I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching.